E squared, the economies of being environmentally cautious. When Henry Ford proclaimed, I will build a car for the great multitude, not even he realized how great that multitude would be, or just how much asphalt, congestion, and carbon dioxide would be created from his vision. Our obsession with the automobile, while still a symbol of independence, just might show us how dependent we really are. The average American drives 1,000 miles a month, 12,000 miles a year, the distance to the moon every 20 years. You know, if you had to distill the American ethos into a single product, it would undoubtedly be the car. But the bigger point is that Americans consume three gallons of gasoline a day, their own weight in gasoline every seven days. Some people that look at the question of energy and cars say the problem is America's obsession with the automobile. SUVs are the work of the devil. Well, I say that actually gets the problem wrong. What cars represent are actually good things. Freedom, mobility, independence, personality. This is why people anywhere around the world, whether it's China or Brazil or, or South Africa, as soon as people can get enough money, they aspire to get into their own cars.